What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. As many of you know, I've been very vocal on my page, my Facebook page actually, about the M2R Warrior Pro. And the reason for that is that I had an issue with it. Uh, let me start off at the very beginning of this issue. Um, when I ordered it um, initially, it never showed up. So Olight had to send me out a replacement to replace a light that got lost in the mail. So I finally got it, which is great, thank you Olight. Um, and when I was trying to attach it to a rifle mount, it stopped working. I'm like, I just did all this work to attach it, put it together, it was working fine. I even started doing my um, prepared guy tests for it. I did the heat test, and I did the drop test, and I did the submerge test, and I did the runtime test, and I did the weight test, and I just did all the tests that I was supposed to do to it. And unfortunately, um, after all the tests were done and I and finally decided to mount it, that's when it crapped out. It just stopped working. So, uh, you know, instead of bothering Olight again saying, guys, you know, I'm having another issue with, <laughs> with this light, um, I just recently um, had them replace an X7R Marauder, um, which was awesome that they took care of that for me. They couldn't fix it, so they sent me a brand new one. So props to Olight yet again for being awesome. You guys are awesome. Don't forget that. Um, so this light was kind of a fluke when it stopped working. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on? So I ended up doing a video where I showed that I was taking the light apart and I took the light apart to try to find what was wrong with it, not realizing that it was gonna need a firmware update. Today, Olight released an announcement on their Facebook page that they're gonna be giving away a lifetime warranty for this particular flashlight. They're gonna be giving it out a um, replacement to anybody who has the same issue that I had. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm probably not qualified because I did toss this flashlight. I took it apart and I figured I voided the warranty, so I don't know if Olight wants to replace it for me. I'd appreciate that, but um, it's my own bad if they don't want to, you know, guys, I, I totally understand. But um, I liked this light. I liked this light a lot, and I think it was, um, well put together, but I think it was kind of like a cash grab situation. I don't know how much effort they actually put into it. I feel like they did do enough effort, but I feel like, um, you know, when I got it, I felt like something was off. I felt just uneasy about this light when I first got it. And lo and behold, I ended up having that issue. And now they're doing this basically um, <laughs> a cheap way of doing a recall is saying, hey, let's do a lifetime warranty because now they're not sure about this product. No, they don't want you to lose faith. And I don't want you guys to lose faith in Olight either because this is something that I've, I've been a Olight um, customer for years and I've never seen actually anything like this happen. So I don't think that it's Olight's fault per se, but it is something that happens. So let's just leave it at that. Um, I think that that's, they're awesome for giving out a lifetime warranty for this light. Now here's my problem with this light in general and I'm just gonna have to say it out there. I wanted to use this as a duty light. I wanted to use this for search and rescue and I wanted to use this for security purposes. And unfortunately, if I go to press that button, like I did that day, that faithful day where it failed, and there's an intruder or there's somebody that I have to you know, defend myself against and I press that button and that light's just not there, that's gonna be a huge problem. It could get, get me killed, it could get me injured, it could, you know, it could do something. So I couldn't trust any of these lights that are out there floating around. Now I'm sure that there's like a, um, a way that they can find out exactly which models uh, had the issue. Unfortunately, my model was one of the models that had the issue or, you know, so, um, you know, with that said, um, will, are the future models gonna be fine? I'm pretty sure any future models, since they found the problem, they're gonna be fine. Um, but personally, this isn't gonna be my carry light. Sorry guys, it's just not happening. I need to put 110% faith in my equipment. So I figured I'd just make this quick video to let you guys know that, you know, this is my situation. I called it as it was beforehand. I said that something was wrong with the flashlight. It was unusual and Olight confirmed it today that they had to basically do, um, you know, not a recall on it. They're doing an extended warranty, a lifetime warranty on it, which is much cheaper than a recall. Cause trust me guys, they don't want to do a recall on this because it's us guys that, that do the flash sales. We spend a lot of money. Some of these, you know, people buying a couple of these at a time, you know, times a few thousand, uh, people that are buying them so that would be a pretty pricey recall so guys um, that's my issue that I had with my particular Olight product my particular M2R 
Pro Warrior. I'm um, not saying that you guys are going to have the same issue. Um, if you're buying this after 2019, um, it should be fine. They've, they've probably done the firmware updates and sold out all the uh, 2019 models uh, since. So you guys probably be happy with the one you guys get. But any of the 2019 models that with the firmware issue, I just cannot trust. I'm not going to trust them um, with my life. But um, if you're just somebody that's a flashlight enthusiast, you bought one and you're just messing around with it, then that's fine. Go for it. You know. But if you're seriously somebody that's in law enforcement or um, anything with security or just you know home security, self-defense, whatever, don't get one of these from 2019 unless it's certified that it's not going to have that issue. I don't know how they're going to do that, but just be careful. Um, anyways, guys, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Olight, if you guys want to send me a new flashlight, that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. I'm not expecting anything, but I'm just saying, you know, um, this is the first time it's ever happened. And um, I kind of really, really like this light and I wanted to finish doing my review on it. And unfortunately I couldn't. And like I said, guys, I'm gonna be doing a 30 day minimum, one month minimum of trying out any future flashlights on my channel. Um, not because of the Olight issue um, that I had with this particular light, but just in general, I wanna really test my lights out before I show them to you guys. Cause I've had a few lights where I've just got them and two days later I say, oh, this light's great. And usually it are, they are. Like I've never actually had any issues with any other flashlights except for this light on the channel. I mean, I've, I've worked with Sofer and I've worked with uh, Phoenix. I've had a few other flashlight companies that I've worked with <clears throat> besides Olight that um, I haven't had any issues whatsoever, which is great. Um, so, you know, but I, I do want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I want to be able to say, hey, listen, I've tried this out for 30 days prior to me telling you about it because I've had a couple people come to me with the same issue um, with the firmware update that their lights failed and they said, hey, prepared guy, you said, you know, when you did the beam shot test that you really liked the light. So I went out and bought one based on your um, opinion of the light and um, now I have this issue and I said well yeah you should probably contact Olight don't take it apart like I did and um, sure enough Olight released that uh, announcement on their Facebook page saying hey guys we're kind of doing you know a replacement for these and you're gonna be getting them um, the end of December they're gonna be starting to ship them out so you might get them by the new year but um, anyways um, figured I'd just bring all this to your attention and let you know that this is what's going on with the M2R Pro Warrior so thank you guys for watching and until next time guys stay prepared if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please feel free to smash that subscribe button now and click the notification bell so that you can get notified each week when new videos come out new videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this has been the prepared guy and until next time guys stay prepared